Hey, what's up guys? You guys are watching this on RideBMX.com. I'm Mike Spinner. I'm in California right now. Just hanging out. And I'm going to try to show you guys how to do a backwards manual. <laughs> We're doing this on a wedge. It's definitely a difference when you're doing a wedge, a flat ground, and a quarter. A wedge, you lift your front tire up, then your back tire up. Flat ground, same thing. But a quarter, you pop both tires off at the same time, and it's almost like a different way to get your momentum going. So we're gonna talk about a wedge right now. Pretty much, when I go up to a wedge to do a backwards manual, I'm gonna ollie you it a tad to get momentum. So I'll try to show you guys how I explain it. I'm gonna come up like this, I'm gonna lift up my front tire, and I'm, I'm gonna go for a 180, but I'm gonna land a little under rotated, and right there I'm catching momentum to go and get in this position, if that makes sense. Pretty much, when I get in the backwards manual, I'm going with the motion of my cranks. I'm not going like Mach 10, I'm going with my backwards manual with the back crank. I'm going with the manual. It's just like a manual. If anything, I feel it's almost easier because you could slow yourself down, you could press your brakes. If you're going forward, you tap your brakes. If pretty much your tire's going down, you could slow down your cranks. You have so much control, so many things. Pretty much step two, once you're in the backers manual, you're using your momentum of your cranks. You're not going too fast, going to medium pace, using your mo momentum of the cranks to keep your, back, keep your front tire up. As you're in this position, you're just gonna go with it. And as you're going backwards, the cranks are moving. You just go with it. It's a steady motion. It takes so long to learn, but now this turned into my favorite trick. Um, right here, once you get your cranks all the way around, Unless you're going straight backwards, it's gonna be super hard to keep your cranks going. So you're almost gonna to wanna to start turning. Just like when you did with the spin, you're gonna keep going, and as you're back, backwards manualing, you're gonna be turning, turning, turning. And pretty much my favorite thing to do when you get out of a backwards manual is get the little pop out. So when you're turning around, that's normally where your cranks are, where your forward foot is, it will turn back around. When you're back forward, it will kinda of pop you up. And what I normally do is I throw the, the little crank in, and I get that little boop. And normally when I do that, I feel really good and I just slowly roll away. All right, pretty much, once you have this, I've been doing this trick for, man, if I really think about it, probably like four years. As I said, my favorite trick. Um, I've done a bunch of variations with it, but right now I'll mess around and I'll do the manual to 180 and then the backwards manual to three out. Those are definitely always fun to do. 